Welcome back to the Burnt Pancakes Podcast. I am your host, Katie Fenske, and I'm here to remind you that everyone burns their first pancake, so just keep flipping. Today, I'm having a conversation with Cheryl Darlene. She is a mom of three. She's busy with lots of sports. She's a working mom and host of her own podcast, Mom Boss Motivation. I'm going to sit down with her to talk about why it's important to prioritize your marriage, your relationship while in the midst of being this busy mom. This is a really fun conversation and she has so many great tips for us. Before we get started with it, I do want to remind you that if you are getting anything from this podcast to like, subscribe, leave me a review and share this with other moms that you feel like could just use some motivation and some inspiration. And if you're on social media, come find me. I love meeting all of you listeners. I want to be friends with you and connect with you. So come find me at Burnt Pancakes with Katie. All right, without further ado, let's talk date nights. Welcome to the podcast, Cheryl. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited that you started your podcast because I know we were talking about it. Are you telling me like year. you're going to do it? Yeah. And, and it took like, me yeah, another year. Saw it. So I'm so excited. <laughs> well, you're an inspiration because you have one and I love, I love listening to it. So. Oh, thank you. Well, today we're going to talk all about date nights and what it's like being a busy sports mom and fitting that all in. So can you start by telling us how old your kids are and what sports they're in? So I have three kids. I have an 11 year old girl um and she's in volleyball she also plays basketball and she used to play soccer and she might want to go back um and then I have a nine-year-old son and he's into baseball basketball football (laughs) and anything that has a ball um they're all they're both into pickleball and um that's like and I am too I love it um and then I have a four-year-old just turned your four-year-old and he's in t-ball and he also likes pickleball and he likes to play tennis and um, he likes to play golf my five-year-old just said the other day I was like what sports do you want to play he's like how about something I've never played how about tennis and I'm like yeah where do I sign you up for that okay let's do it let's do it together so for everyone listening I met Cheryl through baseball so our boys so two of them are so our oldest boys play triple a our yes. younger ones play t-ball so we yeah. see each other all the time yes <laughs> we're always at the field in passing and yeah. then we did play on a team together that's right Last all season. stars right yeah yeah, yeah. so your yeah. calendar must be insane it is you like color code <laughs> i have like a different color and i only have two playing sports right now i can't yeah. three is gonna it's gonna be insane so the rule that i gave myself because i overwhelmed myself like post COVID, I was like, they need to do everything. They haven't done anything. (laughs) Um, it was, I had to just do one sport per kid per season and make sure those sports don't overlap. So Lana's volleyball right now is on Sundays and we know baseball is not on Sunday Mm -hmm. at least. And so that was like the first time she's in, was in volleyball and she's really good at it. Um, but she's like, I would say like in that weird preteen yeah. age where they're like awkward, awkward with their bodies yes yeah and we're like just be aggressive like, don't <laughs> let the ball fall who cares what you look like but they totally care what they look like and everything oh like gosh. that so <laughs> but yesterday was her playoffs and she their team got the bronze championship yay out of Isn't all it the so teams. fun it's so, so fun to watch yeah it's so fun like it's really not that fun when the ball's just falling, but yeah. um, it's, it's a lot of fun when they win. Yeah. yeah. We've had some losing seasons. Yeah. How that feels. But that's we, another we thing. We kind of make that rule too, though, where it's yeah. like one sport per season. Cause we've been tempted. Yeah. Like, Oh, we'll do baseball and Friday night light or we'll do, yeah. you know, but I just, I can't keep up. I can't. It's tiring. It is. And I don't want my kids yeah. to burn out on anything. So yeah. like, this, this spring, do this in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so recently you posted a reel, which like, I absolutely loved that you try to prioritize date night in that busy schedule that you have. Yes. So first of all, how long have you been married? I've been married, uh, 12 years. <laughs> I should have given or, you that question ahead of time. 11 years? Well, I know, Lana I was in my tummy. So. 
2023, 2000. Yeah, 11. Okay. 11 okay. Um, we're, we're a little easier because we got married in 2010. So I yeah. can always just like, oh, that's subtract, easy. Subtract 10. Subtract yeah. 10. We're going we were on married 13. in 2011. Okay. So, um, Lana, so what happened there was that we <laughs> were together the for like one. six <laughs> We were together for six years prior, like dating. Mm-hmm. We already lived together after like six months of dating because Aww. um my rent was done and his, he didn't want to live alone. And I was like, why don't we just be roommates? And I probably wouldn't have done that. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> looking back, but it all worked out. We got all the kinks out um in those years. And then he asked me to marry him in year six. I was so mad at him. Like I was year oh, we, between. I, think, I think we had seven years. Oh, okay. That's married. pretty long. <laughs> I think we were at seven. But he was buying a house. He was right. buying all the things he before was, he, he bought me his a dang career. ring. Mm-hmm. A dang ring that he wow. could have spent like $200 on. And I would have yep. been like, oh. <laughs> right, right. If they only knew. But- if they only knew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not tell him that now. Yeah. <laughs> I never told them that. So, <laughs> um, but he, uh, so then I got pregnant because obviously, yeah, but I did a detox for the wedding and then I got pregnant. I have all these little stories <laughs> inside. And then we had to move up the wedding. So we moved up the wedding to June and Lana, um, my daughter was born November 12th, which was our original like set wedding date. No way. Yeah. So that was okay, like, that gave me chills. Like, yeah, it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So oh. it was like, okay, that date was special for a reason. Yeah. I thought she was going to be born 11, 11, 11. Oh, um, okay. But that she was 11, 12, cool 11. Oh. Yeah. Close so enough. It was, it was right. So okay. <laughs> was every mom like, can you induce me today? Like <laughs> that day? Everyone, I bet. I don't everyone, know. Yeah, like, probably. But I, yeah. I wanted to do all the natural and all that. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then ended up with emergency C-section. Oh, so. <laughs> it always goes according to plans, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I remember when Ronan. Okay. The was date born. night. <laughs> oh, the date. Yes. Let's yeah. get back to date night. Um, when Ronan was born though, Mm-hmm. It was like, I was totally ready. We had wanted kids for a while, but then he came and it was like, oh my God, my life is so different. I remember one night my husband used to work late. So he'd get home at like eight or nine. And before having kids, he would just call me and be like, Hey, I'll pick you up. We'll go get dinner. I'm like, cool, cool. Then I have this like three week, three week old baby at home. And he'd call and say, Hey, do you want me to pick up dinner? And I remember one night just bawling because mm-hmm. I'm like, we're not the same anymore. I, he yeah. can't just like get in the car. And I remember like thinking, is my marriage ever going to be the same? Yeah. So that was rough. So when you said date nights are important, I'm like, yeah, I guess. like as now a veteran mom, I'm like, yeah, yeah you do get it back. Like it comes, those newborn days are so hard. Oh my God. Yeah. We didn't have any date nights for like yeah. a year. Um, yeah. What do you guys do to like, make sure you fit that in? Like, do you schedule so, it on your calendar, on your busy, busy calendar or? Um, I'm a very last minute. No, I do not schedule it okay. ahead of time. But if there's an open time, I'm like, that's date night. <laughs> like, yeah, we're going so out. For honey. example, this weekend, <laughs> we're going to my mother-in-law's um, to visit for Mother's Day. We don't have a baseball game. Oh, thank God. Whoa. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's why last Saturday we didn't, Rona didn't have a game. And I'm like, yeah. what do we do? Like, we were just sitting at home. Like, what do we do all day? Here. <laughs> so when I saw that on the calendar, so that's why I'm like every week I do a reset of my calendar. Okay. Um, I see what's open. Uh, we're going to see our friends. We're going to see, we're going to do the whole mother's day thing. Mm-hmm. And then Friday night was open. And then I was like, we're going on a date night. Cause your mom's there. Like, it doesn't matter. We're going to go out. Like nice. we have learn to keep that like we know it's important that to spend time with each other because when we connect again Mm -hmm. and we don't talk about we do talk about the children all the whole time probably that that was my question what what percentage of the time are you talking about your kids versus other things Mm, probably like 50 percent okay I would say ours is between 50 and 75. Yeah. <laughs> like you go there saying, we're not going to talk about them. And then. Oh yeah. Come up. Yeah. Oh, we always talk about them. They're our life. Right. So right. Right this now is, or part of it. Right yeah. But like one time, the reason why I pr- prioritize date nights is because 
one time one of my friends was like going through a really rough patch in her marriage and she already had like kids that were 18 and out of the house Mm -hmm. going to do their own things yeah and so she was like empty nesting and she said she just woke up one day and her husband was like who's this guy like I don't remember this guy and I don't I was like right yeah I don't want that to be my marriage right and I say that all the time like they are gonna leave one day yeah we want to make sure this is solid when they're gone you know yeah as busy as we are like there are little moments that, yeah. So are your dates like dinner and movie? What do you guys do for date night? Uh, I try, we try to mix it up, but you know, like if you don't have the ideas, you're just going to go to the same place. Where you want to go. I don't know where you want to (laughs) go. Yeah. So we we try to go like to our city. Like there's so many great restaurants around here. Yes. Huh. Something in the circle in orange. What are we going to do? (laughs) So you could go for a walk after. Like, um, like spend extra time. Usually it's a new dinner place. Okay. Um, I think one time we went ax throwing, but that was a double date. Okay. So it's either oh, like it's fun. adult time is important. Like right. even us with other friends or, um, just like not kid time. Right. Not have to and- be on all the time. Cause we still have littles where it's like, I can't not keep my eye on Maverick. Right. He's yeah. on it, like. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Like my brain's always. Yeah. Where are they? How many? One, two, there. Three. It's like one, two, three, yeah. one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. So the same thing. And so just to not think about the kids and to think about my husband, talk to my husband, mm-hmm. but it's not even, I, I did that real because I was like, it's tax season and he's an accountant. So oh, he worked busy, busy way too much. Yes. And- so I try, that's another thing, like his schedule's crazy. So we, I try to fit it in when he can. And I was like, your mom's coming that weekend. We need to go out. You're coming with my friend's birthday. I don't care if she says no, but she, she didn't say, say no. She was just like, yeah, come on. So we all, we just went out. So anything that's just us and away from kids, no kids is a date <laughs> night. Yes, yeah. Love it. Do you guys and, ever do but, day dates? I was thinking like we, we did do more day dates, I think. Yeah. So like we can, um, I work remote Monday and Tuesday, so we could do like a breakfast day oh, or go for a hike. There's so many. And I think like, so nice. even just walking down the street or walking alone, like the kids can handle 10 minutes right by themselves in the house. Um, as long as they're not cooking, uh, <laughs> uh you and my oldest I would not trust him. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah luckily I have the girl and she yeah. helps a lot and she's super responsible yes okay so well, that's helpful, what I was gonna but... ask you what do you do like babysitters right now who do you have watch your kids when you go I out? don't have babysitters <sighs> so the all my family that, lives far see I that is like my mom lives a half a mile from me and if I didn't yeah. have her I, I don't know what people do that don't. Yeah. Have so we did like, they went to the church and stayed two hours there. So that was like a super quick date night. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, Oh, we're going to go out, to Costco and we're going to go have dinner. We just ended up going to happy hour. Yeah. It and goes like, fast. Oh, oh, we have to pick up the kids already. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make it to Costco. We'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'll take the, the kids. kids there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's samples. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, I just don't like so have you ever, them. have you ever hired babysitters? I have never. Okay. Yeah. I just barely started. Like, I think I, I had one come over to the house right before COVID okay. and then she COVID happened and it was like, Oh, but because my mom and my family watched my kids, it was so hard for me, especially yeah. when they're little, like babies. I'm like, I can't leave this girl, but I did have someone yeah. cause we live close to Chapman university. Mm -hmm. I had a college student one year and she was Mm -hmm. awesome. Um, last year I used a high school senior, every baseball game. I have her come watch my little ones. Oh, nice. But then she went off to college. Yeah. So that didn't work. But for me, finding a good babysitter is like, yeah, that's hard for me. I want a babysitter, a laundry person, a dishwasher all in one. All unicorn it. that's it. Unicorn. <laughs> housekeeper she'll make dinner and not also. super expensive <laughs> so 
So like me do that. That's what I was going to ask you. So you don't yeah. use babysitters. I'm like, what is the going rate for a babysitter? I, I don't know. I, I my, remember when the last time I paid, like it was with my friend. So okay. it wasn't, and it was one of her babysitters. And she said it was $10 per kid per hour or something. Oh. That's expensive. That's why it's I remember looking for- up minimum wage mm-hmm. at one point and going, okay, I think I should pay her a little bit more, but my boys are so crazy. I'm like, I have my wallet. You can t- just take it from me. <laughs> That's why having my mom is so nice. Cause I'm like, yes, I, I can't. Oh, yeah. It's hard. It's hard leaving your kids with someone else. It is. And I'm, I haven't done that yet. I've done it with my family most of the time or friends. The church was fine too. And so just making sure when it, all the kids are taken care of, I'm like, okay, we're going. Yeah. And uh, this one thing I found was a date night book where you Ooh. do like a dump list of all your like ideas, because you know, you have random ideas. Yes. And then you'll forget what was that one thing that we were saying we're going to do. Yeah. Right. So having that list to go back to is a good thing too, because okay. you don't think about writing it down for our date nights, but yes, I think do I you guys have pretty somewhere. similar tastes in like the restaurants you like. And he's, he doesn't care. I'm the one that cares. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, You're the foodie. <laughs> yeah. I'm the foodie, but then like right now I'm like all about atmosphere. Cause I think a lot of the places serve the same food now. Yeah. I'm like, what the heck? I like, noticed that like, we used to go to restaurants all the time and then mm-hmm. we had kids and that like slowed down. And now I'm like, I don't even know the new places anymore. Like I, yeah. we've kind of, we're not. As yeah. Cool. And the new places are kind of super expensive mm-hmm. and not that great and yeah. super, like very oily and we're old now. So we can't. I know. <laughs> old. Well, I have to now, like uh, after we're done, you know, having dinner and stuff, I'll text my mom and I'll be like, Hey, are the boys in bed yet? Cause they tend to stay up a little later with her. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to come home and have them still awake and me yeah. put them to bed. So I'm right. like, it's like eight o'clock and I'm like, okay, we're done. Like we're ready to go home. And she's like, oh, we're just finishing a movie. I'm like, get them in bed. <laughs> <laughs> One time we didn't want to come home. We went to this really nice restaurant. It's called Hannah's in okay. Um, Cota de Casa, like out on the outside Ooh, part. Okay, yeah. And on the way home, my husband has hadn't seen um, Top Gun, the new one. The new now. one. Yeah. So it was like ten o'clock showing. I was sleeping in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we used but, to always go to the movies when we didn't have kids. It was like a ten o'clock movie was a normal thing. And yeah. now I'm like, how did we do that? <laughs> How did we do that? Like, I just want to like come home and put my pajamas on. Like, yes. I was like over. sleeping there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. But oh. he stayed awake because he had, he didn't watch the movie yet. So. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good movie. I mean, our youngest is named Maverick. So of course we Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh. that was one of our date nights and our um, other things. Like if you don't have a babysitter is sometimes the kids eat earlier And so they have their dinner and then me and my husband have like a dinner date. So that's what I was going to ask you. If you ever do date nights in, like, I don't don't think I do that enough. Yeah. So it's when we have different meals, like sometimes I want to cook spicy food so they don't eat that. that. Yeah. So then I, I'm like, okay, this is your meal. Feed them early. And then me and my husband eat a different, at a different type, different place, either like at the dining table or, um, outside a lot. That's nice. And then you get kind of like your time. Yeah. And then the other thing with my husband is that, um, like Sunday nights, usually not yesterday, but (laughs) we would like all day. (laughs) We would connect and talk about like our schedules for the week. Like who's picking up who, what do we have going on for there? Like a check-in type of thing. Um, cause our schedules are all crazy. Um, so it's a good way to good start check in time. Too. And then when we talk about that stuff, a lot of stuff just comes up in conversation. Like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And like, I think that's like the most important part. Like we get each other's thoughts cause mm-hmm. there's a lot of time. We're just going, 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 and we can't really like discuss 
Right. Yeah. My, son, my husband says all the time, I can't hear myself think our house is so noisy. There's just noise all the time. So for us yeah. to be able to have like a one-on-one conversation uninterrupted is so yeah. rare. Yeah. So yeah. like it's usually before bed. Um, and then I'm like, okay, good night. But <laughs> yeah, See but it, it, I think those things prior, I prioritized in my relationship because there was t- like during COVID that like tested us a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure a lot of people, um, he came home for work. I just had Hunter. He was like in the newborn, not yeah. newborn, but like baby. Yeah, Cause stages. what was, he was, um, he just was turning one. Not, okay. We canceled his first birthday party because, oh, it was um, that, that was that week beginning. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had, I think Maverick was four months old and it was like, oh wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Are we doing work all the time now? I yeah. Boys out. So then, so then the kids came home. I was cool, like just taking care of Hunter. And then the kids came home and then my husband came home and keeping them quiet. And oh, we lived in this little. Yeah, that's so hard. Yeah. We lived in a really little house when we first moved out here because we didn't know we were going to stay out here because mm-hmm. it was my husband's new job. And that, that was a, another thing. It was a new oh job. My God, you had <laughs> just moved before COVID? Yeah. (laughs) And then we moved. No meeting friends. Like everyone's inside. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, That's hard. Keeping the kids quiet when daddy's working. Like, yes. Yeah. So I did a lot of, we did a lot of walks Mm -hmm. around the neighborhood. Luckily we had a walkable, more walkable neighborhood. Okay. Um, and during that time he was just like, so stressed and we never had time just for ourselves. I think, mm-hmm. and we drank a lot. <laughs> I, I yes, I I remember seeing this meme during COVID, and it was like a coffee cup handing off, like in a relay race, handing off the baton to a wine glass. Like yeah. the morning tonight, and I'm like, that's kind of how COVID was. It was like, yeah, we made it to five o'clock, you guys. <laughs> it was so hard. And then it was just, I remember it was so hard. He was so stressed and he was like taking a stress. Like it was manifesting into like not good stuff mm-hmm. around the house, our relationship. I was like, oh my gosh, like yes. everyone wanted to tear each other up. Mm-hmm. But I think once we figured that out, figured out the schedule and like talked about it, I think it was more important to like, just talk to him, like what's going on. Um, how can I help you? Like all these questions that you don't ask right. your partner because yeah. you're just busy. You're busy and, with mom life stuff and yeah. you forget like, oh, they need to talk. Yeah. To like, we were in a relationship before this and we actually <laughs> right? talked about stuff. And yeah. I think that prioritized date nights a lot for me and just just every part of my, well, COVID did that. Like every part of my life, I wanted to make better, do better. Mm -hmm. Um, and just make sure my kids see that they could do whatever they want and do better in whatever they want. And there was no limits. And because the limit, we were limit limited during COVID. And now like, we can't, we don't have to put rules on ourselves anymore. We just have to do what's right that we think it's right. And make sure they have good values and all that stuff. But right. And yeah, when they something. see their parents happy and like yeah. producing time together, that's, I think that's yes. so good for my kids to see. Like, yeah. And that we're hugging, make... we're kissing. Right. Yeah. Right. Like and I think I want them to have one day. Yeah. And that they can respect a woman <laughs> like, uh, yes. and my husband and my daughter knows how to be treated. And so, but we're not perfect. Like we have those, disagreements and yeah Yeah, disagreements (laughs) a lot but usually it's because we didn't talk about it (laughs) exactly that's That's why you schedule time or like put time aside to talk about it yeah one thing I noticed about date nights that are hard is I'm so used to jeans and t-shirts yoga pants when it's time to go out I'm like oh yeah I don't have date night clothes anymore. I don't, I gotta get date night wardrobe. I do. I'm like, I have sandals and I have like running (laughs) shoes. I'm like, you can't wear these to a nice restaurant. (laughs) I feel so out of place now. Like, yeah, um, no, it's, and yeah. And we like, 
grew in age during COVID. So <laughs> like we can't be wearing <laughs> maybe grew in waist a little yeah, bit. Like, <laughs> don't fit the same. <laughs> but I think <clears throat> that was another thing. I wanted to be sexy during our date nights because yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie right now, joggers and I would normally have a bun, but I actually washed my hair. So um <laughs> looking good. Yeah, so <laughs> just like doing that again, I wore like a crop top, like during COVID, I lost tons of weight and then I gained some more back, but, um, I wore a crop top and a mini skirt and super high heels. I was like, <laughs> I am back in 2000. <laughs> yes. Was he like, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, spicing it up with wardrobe. And I think just even we went to just not like sometimes not looking like a mom. Yeah, like I, we are mom, we, but yeah. not like, I hate how they call mom jeans now, but they're super comfy, but well, they are, yeah. I had the three kids when yeah, I first they're, saw they're it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. When I My first friend saw always it, I says, so I'm going to put some paint on this old red barn or this old barn when she wants to like <laughs> doll herself up. I'm like, yeah, yes. Look nice. Yeah. That's so fun. Okay. Um, An extra time. Yeah. yeah. If you could give some advice to like new moms that maybe don't have a lot of childcare that are maybe struggling with, you know, finding their marriage again with these kids, what advice would you give? I would say just ask your husband how he's doing your partner, um, because they, and tell them to ask you how you're doing and tell them to, I would say, speak up because if you're thinking about it, they're probably thinking about it. And just have an open conversation. Um, it it could lead to a fight, but at least you know what's going on in their head. And it doesn't, and it's no guessing. You're not guessing right. in your head. I think a lot of things is that we guess, we make up stories in our head that, oh, maybe they think this, but they're your husband. They married you. They're your partner. Um, and they, they want you to feel loved mm -hmm. you want you want to love your husband too yes. and they want to be loved they can't read your and mind it, yeah and I think that was like the number one thing about my husband he just wanted to feel loved after me being so busy me being so like I'm done breastfeeding mm -hmm. I don't want to be so long they're like yeah. physically attached to you yeah so for you to give yourself to another human you're like yeah. this one's been on me all day I know but like you could reset and um take a nice hot shower <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um and, and then two, I started noticing we both would just sit on our phones at night on the couch and I was like I need to like put my phone away in the yeah evening. and no phones yeah. yeah and just be like oh let's cuddle on the couch you know that's yeah that's something just like be five minutes of cuddling yeah. is yeah. a huge thing oh holding I, snuggle with me for five minutes <laughs> yeah I'm like, but give me a bear hug right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. So just speak up. Like they don't know what you want. <laughs> so you so just tell them. Don't think, <laughs> yeah. Just tell them. Like yeah. I tell my husband and he is, he's like, okay. Cause he doesn't have to guess. He could just do it. Yeah. And so I don't know if your husband's like that, but my husband's like that. And I think um, most of them cannot read minds and they would rather yeah. you well, say. I think we don't have that superpower. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We don't, <laughs> we can't read our kids' minds either. No, but... oh, I don't want to read their minds. <laughs> I have three boys. It's all fart jokes. And, but yeah, much. I would just say, speak up, communicate, and just, just have fun with it. Like how you would want it. And there's right. no limits to date right. night. Um, and too, like as a mom, like I'm kind of coming out, like with a three-year-old now you're like, okay, we're out of that. Like really hard time. Yeah. It does get better. It gets so it much does. easier. Like it's easier. Like I've gone on an overnighter with my husband now. Yeah. Like, you've got to do that quarterly. Right. Right. I know our anniversary is coming up and we usually go away to yeah. Lachica, out in the desert. Oh. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's where we're going this weekend. Over... Where are you going? Uh, we're going to La Quinta this weekend. Stop it. Because my mother-in-law lives there. Stop. Um, There's a Waldorf Astoria that like, oh yeah, the Spanish. resort. Yeah. We went there on our very first anniversary and we've tried to go like every year. So. It's so nice. Oh there. my God. It's so nice. And yeah. I don't like, we literally just lay by the pool all day yeah. long. I bring a book. 
yeah hang out well we do other things but you know yeah <laughs> yes we have, we have like time to tie it's so nice yeah yeah so for it's, people who can't sexy time vacation because right. yeah. you forget like oh yeah we were like this before we had kids yeah <laughs> so fun yeah and I our was next for kids yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our next vacation I just planned it yesterday we're going to solving oh nice um, or uh, after I have a big conference at work that I'm planning and then it's like the end of baseball season. So yeah, uh, going. and I was you like, you want to know how I'm treating myself after baseball season? How, how, how? I'm getting my car detailed. Nice. <laughs> I'm like getting all that like orange dirt out of my car. <laughs> I told my husband, I was like, I'm going to treat myself. He's like, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, what? I'm like cleaning my car. I'm, I'm going to clean it. <laughs> So fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go schedule some date nights. I'm going to go yes. my calendar. Um, yes. I appreciate this conversation because I think yeah. this is very eye opening. I love, I think it's people say like marriage is work and I, I don't want to say it's work, but it's just like, you got to put in effort and it could be yeah. fun. Like you can, yes, you, you can, can make it whatever you want. Absolutely. Yes. So that's what I'm all about. Thank you for making it fun. I'm going to, like yes. Go see my husband now. Yeah. <laughs> Go get a cuddle. A few hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for coming on. Can you share um, where we can listen to your podcast and how we can find you? Sure. I am on Apple, Spotify, and Anchor, all the podcast platforms. It's called the Mom Boss Motivation Podcast. I created the podcast because I wanted to do something with my life, <laughs> but I also <laughs> wanted to share my mom life journey. I wanted to become my own boss and I wanted to just share that journey along the way and all the different ups and downs and craziness of children. Um, so you can listen on there. And then on Instagram, I'm at mom boss motivation. The Instagram actually started the motivation for the podcast. So oh, I just really? had to put it out there. And so I have a lot of fun on there. I love interacting with Katie too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I love making pancakes. That was something I had to perfect. And I, I do remember burning my first pancake, but yeah. now, um, I'm pretty good at pancakes. <laughs> yeah. My, my, um, my slogan is just keep flipping. Yep. That's perfect. So, all right. Well, I, I will see you tonight at baseball. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> enjoy the, enjoy the rest of your day. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you everyone for tuning in this week. Wasn't Cheryl wonderful? That was such a fun conversation. I feel like I could talk to her forever. Um, make sure that you subscribe to this podcast so that you don't miss next week's conversation. We got some good ones coming up that I'm very excited about. So until next week, remember, everyone burns their first pancake, so just keep flipping. <laughs>